Okay, we are in Midtown in Bend at a, a very interesting uh, house hack opportunity. So we're looking at a single family home here, built in 1951. And the main house itself is 1,525 square feet and has four bedrooms and two full bathrooms. And then there's also down here, a, a full separate detached ADU with one bedroom, one bathroom. And then we're also looking at what is an adjacent 0.21 acre lot um, that the seller would be willing to sell with this property for an additional cost. So this house has recent, recently had paint all new paint on the exterior and interior. Um, the roof looks to be in pretty good shape itself. Um, this home has just kind of a unique configuration in that on the inside, um, one of the primary bedrooms in the main house could also be treated as a total lock-off unit um, for almost a triplex type situation in this house. So we're doing our exterior evaluation. Obviously this ADU is newer built than the main house. We do not know what year as of right now. I have not dug quite that deep yet, um, but we are in a pretty cool location um, just west of 8th Street and just east of 6th on a pretty quiet little dead end street. Um, the exterior of the main house um, has shake type shingles, um, some of which have looked to me like they could use some replacing. Um, there are some newer gutters here and these decks could be refinished for sure. This is kind of an odd little half fence and strange gate area here. got this full two-car garage and the entryway area to the main house here. Let's take a look inside. So up on the main part entryway of this house, we've got a little overhang. Um, there's this side gate that gets you to behind the house and there's a, an exterior access door that I'll show you on the inside here shortly that could get to that additional lock-off unit. So as you enter, we come into a tile floor entryway. This is some version of some updated lighting. Immediately to the left, we have the kitchen space, tile countertops, original wood cabinetry that's been painted. There is there was explained to be some undercap lighting, but there's not from what I can see. Double basin sink. And then this would be the dining area with some additional built-in cabinetry. Coming around here, uh, we have what would be just like a pantry type area for the kitchen. This would be the laundry room area. That is a pretty ancient looking hot water heater. Um, I do know that there are some solar panels on this house that have been decommissioned that I think ran that. So now walking into what I would call the primary suite, but what could be the lock-off unit. So there's a little bit of a step down here. It's kind of funky. There's like a laminate flooring in here. It gets a little more echoey, but this is a decent sized room could potentially be built out to be some kind of rental. So tile here leads up onto the wall. Looks like there's been some recent updates in here. A little corner sink, a stall shower, that's tile. So I could see, and it looks like this was done, locked off here.
this could potentially be a little spot for like a little range. Got some wall electric heat. And then this is an exterior door that goes into the side of the house like we talked about. And then a slider out onto the backyard. We're back out coming from that primary suite area, walking from the kitchen. These are original and refinished hardwood floors, which look quite nice. There is um, an electric fireplace here in the living room. Everything feels squeaky clean because it just got painted. Um, lots of storage and cabinetry here for the kitchen. Walking down the hall for three additional bedrooms. First one on the right. Looking out onto the adjacent vacant lot. Second one on the right, much bigger, good size room. Lots of really great light in this house. And third, a little bit smaller bedroom. Closet. Looking out into the backyard and that ADU. Then finally, the second full bathroom in this house with a full tile surround shower that's been updated glass slider door looks like a newer toilet a little bit of a nook here nicer wood vanity tile countertops and that is the main house also interesting to note there's this whole area up here that looks like it probably had a ladder to go up here so that's interesting as well um, as probably some extra storage. I've got the two car garage here. This is a very low door, a couple steps down, garage space. Looks like a newer garage door and HVAC and sprinkler timer exterior access panel that's what we got in here all right so this is the inside of the adu it's a nice big size room you've got electric heat in here paddle fans got a full kitchenette window cooling very retro Little closet here. Let's see what this house is. Hot water heater. And then the one bedroom. And closet. Also, fully tiled bathroom. And fiberglass stall shower. makes up this completely separate ADU. This one is interesting for its income producing potential. You essentially could have three separate units here. Um, the main house, I would say, could use updates to probably every major system, HVAC, electrical. Um, I can't tell you anything about plumbing, but um, priced at $6.99 um, with potential rents for making it either just like a full four bedroom, two bath house, or um, making that back unit a lock off unit, um, converting that, and then having the full separate ADU. This one might just pencil out. So if you'd like us to run the numbers for you in your situation, let us know.